no matter the length of your tattoo session or who you are, I truly do believe that majority of these rules are gonna help a lot of you out there. Whether you are somebody that is brand new to getting tattoos or maybe you are a little bit more experienced being under the needle, following these rules will make your life easier, your artist's life easier, and the overall outcome of your tattoo will be a lot better along with it being a little bit less painful too. So I have been collecting tattoos for a long time now. It's been over a decade since I went ahead and got my first tattoo. And within the last five years, I've really went ahead full steam and added a lot more work uh, to my collection. Now, I have over 70% of my body covered in ink. I have been under the needle so many times that I've honestly lost count. And it's with all this experience that I have realized there are certain things to do that are very important that now have become rules that I always follow before during and after a tattoo appointment. Now that I said what I needed to say, let's get into all the rules that I follow before the tattoo even begins. Now the first rule I have is one that I wish I honestly followed a lot sooner in my tattoo journey and that is to not rush the tattoo process. I feel like so many people out there want to get a tattoo and then they'll rush the whole process and just go into any artist that they want, not really thinking about the design and the area and the placement and uh, they just go out on a whim and get it. and. Uh, this is just all a recipe for disaster and regretment down the road because, you know, that's what I did early on on my journey and uh, those tattoos now I either regret, I'm lasering off, or I kind of wish they were done by somebody better or in a better area. So please, I'm telling you guys right now, make this the number one rule that you follow before any tattoo and that is to not rush. The tattoo is going to come eventually and the longer that you give that time to be prepared and finding the right artist, the right design and the area that you really want it on, it's just gonna lead to a much better outcome down the road. Now, the next rule that I like to follow is I like to moisturize the area that I'm gonna be getting tattooed a couple weeks before my tattoo begins. And I also like to up my intake of water as well. Doing this, it's gonna make the overall area of the skin a lot more healthier. It's gonna be easier for the artist to work with. And uh, you know, if you go in having bad skin, it's gonna take longer to work with. The skin's not gonna take the ink as well. It's gonna be more painful for you. But if you have good skin, all that kind of may not happen and may be more enjoyable for you. So doing this, it just makes everybody's life easier. And, uh, you know, Brendan told me to do this a long time ago. I started doing it and, you know, it's just something now I always do. Sandra told me to do it as one. I'm like, don't worry, bro. I've been doing this for the longest time now. My skin's already ready for you. So just do this, follow this rule and go into that tattoo appointment. Your artist is going to wonder why your skin is in such good shape and why that tattoo is going so smoothly. Now, this next rule is one you're definitely going to want to follow because if you don't, your artist is going to hate you as soon as you walk in the door. And that is, I make sure to always stay out of the sun and avoid the sun at all costs before my tattoo. Now, like I said, you're going to want to have your skin be in the best possible shape going into this tattoo appointment and uh, going in with dry, burnt, red, flaky skin it's just a recipe for disaster and everybody's not going to have a good time. The artist is going to hate you. You're going to hate the pain that's going to come from it. And uh, I even know some artists that have turned away their clients because their skin is just in such bad shape because they went ahead and burnt it. So if you have a vacation planned or if it's just really nice outside, go outside, enjoy yourself, but make sure that that area that you're going to get tattooed is avoiding the sun and the rays at all costs. Now, this next tattoo rule is one that I guarantee you every single tattoo artist out there is hoping that you follow and implement from today's video, and that is the fucking shower before your tattoo appointment. Listen, you're gonna be working closely with your tattoo artist. Sometimes they're gonna be all up on in you, and uh, you don't wanna be labeled as that customer or client that smells. I've talked to a lot of artists, and a lot of them have this problem. They don't like working with clients that smell, and uh, I am just sharing this rule with you and I hope you follow this for yourself. Make sure you shower, make sure you're wearing deodorant, make sure you don't have bad breath and also clean clothes as well. And that goes for shoes as well because I know a lot of people like me like to take their shoes off and just have their socks on the tattoo chair and uh, you don't want to have stinky feet and just have a bad odor around you. So follow, follow, follow this rule. Now the next rule that I have for you is one that I had to learn the hard way and it was slightly embarrassing but <laughs> also kind of funny as well when I tell you the story in a bit. Now the rule is I no longer eat any type of foods that will make my stomach upset or gassy a couple of days before my tattoo appointment begins and I say this because again you're working in close proximity to the tattoo artist and uh, 
you don't want to be burping or farting in there. You know, it's just rude and you know, everybody doesn't want to be smelling that or hearing that. You know, for me, if I eat seaweed, or sausage, onion, beer, or anything like that, it will upset my stomach and those things can clear rooms. And uh, I had to learn this the hard way. I had an appointment one day and I ate a couple of those foods before the tattoo. You know, I was just asking to go to the washroom so much because I was trying to do all that in the washroom. And uh, unfortunately, one kind of uh, just slipped out and uh, Brandon looked at me and he's like, hey bro, did you just fucking fart? And <laughs> I just looked at him like, I'm so sorry bro, that one just kind of came out. The amount of embarrassment I felt from that, I learned right away and uh, now that is a rule that I always make sure to follow. So also, follow that rule too. Next is one of the most important rules that I now follow before a tattoo and that is I like to wait a little bit, usually about 30 minutes to an hour before reacting and giving my initial opinions and thoughts on the design that I have been sent. Now, this may be a little bit different because some artists like to send you the design a couple days before the tattoo begins. Other artists like to give you the design the day of the tattoo appointment. So we will talk about how to go about that in a bit. But uh, I say this rule because a lot of the time we will have kind of a mental image in our mind or how we think this tattoo should look or be designed. And sometimes that artist's design doesn't match what we kind of had in mind. So initially we'll kind of right away get a little nervous, start saying, oh no, it, looks, it needs to be this, looks like this, we gotta change this. But if you give it a little bit of time and you look at the design, it'll start growing on you more and more and more. And I've had it in my cases where I've kind of just sat on the idea and I've ended up liking their design a lot more than what I had in mind. So really guys, just try to wait a little bit, look at the design a bit and uh, more times than often, you will like what they designed. And if you still don't like it, then don't be afraid to share with it. But just don't go right away and initially start sharing your opinions and thoughts on it because it's not what you initially had in mind. And if it's the day of the tattoo appointment, you see it, maybe just ask to go to the washroom. And in the washroom during that time, you can look at the design, think about it, and then go back and share your thoughts and opinions with the artist on what needs to be done or changed, or if you like it in the end. And you can start getting the tattoo going. Now, my last tattoo rule that I like to follow, and this, this is such a simple rule, but I feel so many people disregard it and forget about it, is to pack and make sure you have everything the night before the tattoo appointment. So make sure you have all your meals in the fridge ready to go. Make sure you have any snacks packed in your bag. Make sure you have extra clothing, that pillow, all that stuff is ready in my corner so I can wake up, grab it all, and then just head out without having to rush around and then realizing at the tattoo appointment that I have forgotten all this stuff. Again, such, such, a, such a simple rule. Now, if you stay to the end, I got a bonus rule for you that I just love doing now. It's something that I always find myself doing and that is psyching myself out and telling myself that this tattoo is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. I do this now for every tattoo appointment, whether it's a simple tattoo or it's gonna be one of the most painful tattoos that I've had yet. I just tell myself every single one is gonna hurt and I do that because it's kind of like a mental game that you're playing on yourself. Every time I go into a tattoo appointment think it's going to be easy, it ends up being such a painful experience. More painful than I ever thought it was going to be. But every time I go into a tattoo appointment thinking it's going to be the most painful thing and I've kind of psyched myself out, it ends up being a very easy or easier than I expected tattoo appointment, which overall gets you in a good mood, gets you a lot of kind of motivation, it pumps you up and the tattoo session becomes a lot easier. So follow that rule, tell yourself a couple days before, weeks before the tattoo begins, that it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker, this is gonna be hard, and uh, you're gonna go into it and then realize it's not that bad, and then bang, tattoo's done before you know it, and you're walking out with a sick tattoo. So there you go guys, those are all the rules that I like to follow before and leading up into my tattoo appointment. Now, I will be making a video or videos in the near future talking about rules that I like to follow during a tattoo appointment and after a tattoo appointment as well. But uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about my list and let me know about any rules that you like to follow and implement as well leading up into your own tattoo appointment. Maybe it's something I can do for myself or somebody else can follow as well. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe, join the community, follow me on my journey towards getting a full body suit. I am gonna be going back to France in a couple months to go ahead and start the rest of my leg. I'm gonna be doing five days in a row with Sandry and uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, again, I, I truly do believe this is gonna be one of the best tattoos that I have collected yet. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be here for all that. Now go ahead and check out this video on 12 tattoos that I love. It'll give you some motivation and inspiration for your next tattoo and uh, I'll see you there.